Welcome and welcome to the Arsenal Precinct. How are we doing this wonderful, fantastic afternoon? I hope everybody's doing very, very fine. Uh, before we get into the nitty gritty, please uh, like the video. Very, very important. Uh, subscribe, yet, subscribe, and make sure you turn on your notification bell. One more time, for those at the back who didn't hear me the first time, let me say it a bit more slowly. Please like the video, please subscribe, and do not forget to turn on your notification bell. So let's go to the Califuari rumors that has been hotting up everybody's gas, especially the Arsenal fan base. They are overly excited. Always now, Califuari for me, I hope I'm pronouncing his name well. Had a very good uh showing at the Euros. Unfortunately, uh, Italy crashed out, losing to Switzerland in that game. Uh, good player, young Italian. But see, these rumors being pushed by uh, I've seen Fabrizio tweeted, I've seen Dean Jones tweeted some of this. So is it dangerous as if some of these English uh, journalists are posting it, right? Let's not forget, we live in a like and view economy, meaning veracity, the veracity of story is not the most important to some of these journalists. It's about engagement farming. It's about making money, which I understand. But fans and subscribers and viewers have to be smart to this technique. People do not care about the veracity, the authenticity about the truth anymore. It's about views, translating to likes, translating to money. So you accuse, I, I don't do the same thing. I am doing the same thing in good faith. I will not push or come and deliberately sell nonsense to my subscribers or those who are viewing my content. I don't do that. Now, Arsenal, especially in the last few hours, have entered the race for Ricardo Califori with the Premier League is most likely the station at the moment. Bologna want 50 million euros for the player, considering 50% of his sale value goes to Basel FC. So FC Basel, rather, next week will be decisive as far as Calif Califiori's future is concerned. Now, very, very interesting. Now, why I'm so convinced that Arsenal will not sign this player? I'm not saying Arsenal are not interested. Let us see. Let us show a bit of comprehension and understanding. Because a lot of you misconstrue whatever I say most of the time because you are triggered, because you, you have a preconceived notion of what you want to hear. Listen carefully. I am not saying Arsenal are not interested in the player. He's a very good player, and Arsenal should be interested. But will Arsenal sign him? I don't think so. Why? I'll give my reasons, right? Number one, we will need to sell at least two players. Califiori is a left back stroke, left center half. So we will need to say Zinchenko and Kivio if we need to buy him. Some of you say, why don't we buy him and sell Zinchenko and Kivio later? That would be silly and stupid. So don't be a, that would be very silly and stupid for Edu to do. Because if you do that, selling Zinchenko and Kivio will be detrimental because suitors or buying clubs will be able to price at a lower rate, knowing that we are desperate to get to sell those players. So, for us actually want to go and buy Call of Fury, we will have to sell Zinchenko and give you that's just a fact. It's not about us not being ambitious, it's not being smart. There's FFP rules, you can't keep on stockpiling players, you can't keep on stockpiling players. These are not groceries, they are players, they're human beings, right? And Call of Fury does not even enter to a starting 11, he doesn't start ahead of Timba as a left back because so Timba is back, Timba can play both left back both right back and set half better eyes in my opinion objectively a better player and tested player than califiori now we've just seen califiori in this tournament and we are all waxing lyrical i am not saying the bad player he's a good player this is just a short tournament right do not make you, you can't make sweeping appraisal of a player in a few games not, most of you have not watched him the whole season You've not watched Bol Bol Bologna's games. Suddenly, you watch a few games. It's the best since sliced bread. One more time. I am not saying Califiori is the bad player. I'm just saying, hold your horses. Think. Use your logic. Do not fall for the engagement farmers. Do not fall for the hype. He's a good player, but does he start for Arsenal? No. Do I like him in our team? Provided we can sell some of the players. I think, in my personal opinion, he looks physically better than Kivio. Kivio is a good player, but I'm just concerned about his physicality. Even last season, he had a good season, but you can see there are still concerns about his pace and physicality when it comes to Kivio. Zinchenko, 
good player technically, but defensively can be a bit clumsy. And Cali Fuel for me, physically, he's fantastic. Defensively, based on the small sample, based on the small sample I've seen, is looking better. I say based on the small sample. So if for us not to want to bring him, even they, they're interested and they like him, we have to sell those two players. We can't stop five players. And that's why I look at the rumor, no matter how it's aggressively pushed, I don't believe it. Now, I believe that we are interested, that we push out the boat and go and try and sign in. I don't think so. Now, if we can sell Zinchenko and sell Arkivio, I think it's a, there is a possibility, not even probability. It's a possibility. So this hype around him, after I've seen him for a few games, is overly stated, as overly rated. Let's calm down. If modern fans are overly hyped on players these days, calm down. And you can't you can't stockpile all the best players in your team. No team of Real Madrid doesn't have the best players across board. So let's calm down. We act like children will see this. I like this candy. I like that candy. I like this candy. I like all the candy. You can't have all the candies. You can't if you, you can't have all the candies. You can't just have it. So let's calm down. I'm not saying he's a bad player. I don't say I don't want him, but I just say it doesn't make sense. That Arsenal will go and get him while we still have certain players on, on the books. It's not going to happen. I don't care if other Premier League teams are interested. That's just to push the narrative, just, just to push Arsenal to be a bit desperate. Edu, Arteta, and Richard Gali are experienced blokes in this game. You can't push them to be desperate. It's not going to happen. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. Some of you may think I'm waffling. Some of you think I'm not aspirational or ambitious enough for us now, which is crazy. I want us now to win all the trophies possible, but I'm still sensible to apply my logic to all these transfer rumors. Like I said, it's a rumor. I'm not saying there's no interest, but we will act on the interest. I highly doubt it. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section regarding Cali, uh, Cali Fiori rumors. Let me know. One more time, guys, do me that kind favor. Uh, don't forget to like the video, very, very important. Subscribe yet, subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell. One more time, like the video, subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell. Let's go to Sami Lokunga to Sevilla. According to reports, Arsenal are edging closer to uh, sending Sami Lokunga on loan with an obligation for Sevilla to buy in the future. Sami, unfortunately, is not going to continue. Uh, according to reports, it's still a rumor. Uh, at Arsenal, I like the player, but unfortunately, he's not up to the speed, to the level required for him to maintain at Arsenal, unfortunately. So, he's not a bad player. I just think he does have what it takes to play at Arsenal at this moment. Maybe five years ago, yes, but the Arsenal of two, of, for the last two years is a progressive, is an Arsenal that is going to the next level, the Arsenal that wants to win trophies. And we play as Sammy Lokonga in our midfield, he doesn't have the material, he doesn't have the, 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 the guile. He doesn't have the confidence, the skill set required to take our midfield next level. Unfortunately, he has to go elsewhere and do it. Now, in the next three to four years, we might regret this sale in context, right? Because some players are late bloomers and late developer. So I think Sam is a good player, but I don't think for now, I don't think he'll make it as now. We're going to say, if you have, you have more game time, because last time, or last season, we had to loan him to Luton, where he, he, decent, he, he had a decent performance. You remember the video where Jürgen Klopp was shocked that's not loaned him up because he, uh, Jürgen Klopp saw that he was performing well, home and away. Yeah, I think home and away against Liverpool, he played very well. He had some decent stints uh, yeah, with Luton, but at Asta, he's not of the required. He doesn't have what it takes at the moment, right, to even start let alone be on the bench for Arsenal, and it's unfortunate uh, he has to go to another club where he can have more game time than uh, progress himself uh, in his career. So I hope Arsenal can recoup some of the money. The the rumored fee is £10 million. Pounds. I think we bought it for 17 to almost £19 million, pounds, which might take a loss. Maybe in the contract, we'll put in a, a future sale cl uh, clause in the contract so that if Sevilla eventually sells into a bigger club, we can still get some of our of our money on money's back, which is fine. So it's, it's a win-win for both player and club. Like, he cannot continue to stay. He's not going to get game time. Galatasaray has made it clear, based on his action, that Sam B is not of the required quality to take us to the next level. And it, it is what it is, unfortunately. Not all players will prosper or make it at a certain club. It doesn't make them bad players. Sometimes it's just bad timing. Sometimes, like I said, some players are just late bloomer or late developers. And Sam B unfortunately has to leave and go to another club to potentially fulfill 
his footballing aspirations. So, guys, let me know what you think about uh, this proposed move of Sambi from Arsenal to Sevilla. Do you think it's a good move? Some of you want to want to keep him. I don't want to keep him because I don't I don't see him taking us to the next level. And some of you might have a, 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 a different opinion. Let me know why you have a different opinion in the comment section. So, guys, we've spoken about uh Ricardo Califuri's uh, rumors and was spoken about Sambi. Let me know your opinions in the comment section. One more time on your way out, be kind enough, like the video, subscribe, and make sure you turn on your notification bell. One more time, like the video, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>